Okay guys, we're back. It's the next freaking episode. I believe this is episode 10 of the College Student Stretch series. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know I am making these videos and like I said prior to the first episode is I'm gonna be trying to emphasize and give you guys quality over quantity. So that's why these videos have been drastically spread out more than the previous series. Guys, don't worry. I'm still on top of my game. I'm, if you don't ever see me post as much on YouTube, I'm always gonna be posting my ass off on Instagram. So if you don't follow me there, do so right here on the screen but guys today we're having a lower carbohydrate day so I decided to give you guys another full day of eating video but with a simple twist I'm not doing no ordinary full day of eating video I'm showing you guys my entire day but I'm showing you guys my three favorite low carb meals because your boy is sitting on a low carb day for this last week until next week where I'm gonna be getting a little diet break from the coach and increasing my calories and then going back down again because I think I hate a weight plateau. So we're stuck around 141 lately and we're gonna try to figure this shit out. I kind of decreased the cardio. I've been doing 40 minutes prior to this. Now this past week and last week, I've been doing like 15, 20 minutes of cardio. So we're trying to reduce the cardio, increase the calories, bring my weight calories back up, and then slowly back, drop it back again and fix the plateau because competition dieting is a whole lot different than lifestyle dieting. So keep it a buck. Don't judge what I'm doing right now. Don't follow exactly on my macros and my macros currently today. I don't want to share with you guys right now because if I tell you my numbers, it's something that healthy wise it's not recommended definitely competing is not healthy it's not something i recommend all my clients to do but if you by all means love it or want to try it definitely just hit me up so without further ado let's get the video started but without that ant-man cue the motherfucking intro Just finished making my pre-cardio drink with some water flavoring, some creatine, and that's pretty much it. I sip on this while doing cardio, because without putting water flavoring and creatine in the morning, I always forget to take my creatine, and switching over back to the monohydrate powder than the pills, kind of makes me find ways, uh, well, I kind of had to find ways to consume it in a more efficient way without me forgetting. Cause I have to get my daily five grams of creatine. So let's head downstairs, do some cardio, 20 minutes, fasted, and then take Gucci out for a walk, hopefully, if he's up for it. And then after that, sit, sit down. Hey! What? What do you want? Can I record a video? <laughs> Anyways, let's head downstairs, get the fast cardio started, and then we can officially, fully, Lee, I guess, start the video. So now it's time for meal number one of the freaking day. Pretty simple, it's kind of like my favorite meal of the day and I just get excited every single morning eating this and that's kind of what makes prep more, from my opinion, on me particularly more sustainable is when I have 
my go-to meals. I don't really go out anymore as much as I want to or I could. I rather make all my meals at home and I keep the same staple of meals. So even if I don't track a day or two, I know what I'm eating. The pretty much exact shit is just I tweak up some little details. Like for example, today, for video's purposes, I had cream of wheat, always have that, well cookie butter instead of peanut butter, some whipped cream on the side. Then over here I have six egg whites, pico de gallo, the hot version from Trader Joe, as well as these maple chicken breakfast sausages right here. Freaking amazing macros on these. I think I showed it on Instagram before, but I'll show it here on YouTube as well. I mean I focus the camera. Well, if you can see it, four fat, three carbohydrates, and ten protein. I'm gonna relax, wait for my mom to come home so that I can leave the house and do my errands. But morning cardio is done. I finish drinking some water, chill with the dog Gucci. Actually, let's see what Gucci's up to. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Did I wake you up from a nap? You wanna say hi to the YouTube bros? They wanna know what's up, boy. They wanna know what's up. So I'm kinda kinda add a little vlog clip here too with my little man Gucci, but had a doctor's appointment yesterday with him, second doctor appointment, and so far he's a healthy puppy, gaining weight the right way, and just the only part that I don't like right now since he's a puppy, the teething, the potty training. It's like basically me having a child. But anyways, gonna eat this meal right here, relax with a dog, and that's pretty much it, so. It's time for meal number two, as I promised you guys. And right now, I just finished preparing the entire thing. This is a really massive salad. On low carb days, I just prefer eating salad because I want to feel more full. So vegetables, personally for my body, or just in general, fill you guys up. So I'm gonna actually pull out the chicken or the meat I use as well and put it on the side. I'm gonna show you guys everything I put inside that salad to make it my, I would say, my favorite low carb meal. So right here is the mixed salad that I added. I added some of the power green, ready to eat blend from Trader Joe. It has literally every single green out there. Baby kale, baby red, char, baby spinach, Kalara greens, <laughs> and the list goes on. As well as some iceberg lettuce. Yes, I washed it before putting it on. Some hot pico de gallo salsa from Trader Joe as well. And another Trader Joe pickup. I'm a Trader Joe out over here, but I have the 96 and four extra ground beef macros are four fat, zero carb, 21 protein for four ounces, up to six ounces of that, as well as some light shredded Mexican cheese. Again, Trader Joe macros are four and a half fat, one carb, nine protein. Let me freaking close this door for my mom yells at me again. But I used 21 grams of this, so not a full serving, but the last thing, my favorite thing, I love this type of salad dressing. Again, Trader Joe pickup, fat free, balsamic, vinaigrette, macros, zero fat. Of course, six carb and no protein. Use half serving in there to make this wonderful master. Yes, I know that was a mouthful of stuff, but cut together this meal, the macros will be on the screen, the calories and everything, my fitness pal right here. Show you guys a full breakdown, but this particular meal, I just freaking love it. And disclaimer, heads up, I didn't tell this in the previous meal, but I personally do not track my vegetables uh, since I think they're just a really, really low amount of calories, a little handful of everything. So I never, my entire years of competing, dieting, never track vegetables. But if you're eating a bunch of it in one thing, like if you're eating a whole entire bag of like pre-made zucchini noodles, then yeah, I would track that. If I'm just pulling out some spinach or something like that, 
I'm not gonna track that, just so, so light in calories. Eat this meal. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. I'm gonna catch you guys for the last and final meal. Not of the day, but the last and final meal that I'm gonna show you guys. Just got to the gym, training with the one and only. We're having a full body day today. I kill it. Take her to my workout because she hasn't been in the gym for like how long? I just got back last week. So she hasn't been in the gym for so long. So I'm gonna give her two months. Two months. Two months. She definitely is a Ant Man fitness routine. Yes. So let's get it. up the workout before we head home I want to ask her how was the workout we killed it that's as simple as that <laughs> so we're gonna get home gonna prepare the last meal that I'm gonna show you guys on the grill which is meal number three I'm starving I'm food we need food food fuels us so catch you guys at home for the last meal We just arrived back home as you see I pretty much made majority of the salad right here which is same thing that we had uh, I believe for meal number two which is the vegetables the cheese the salad dressing but the only thing different from this meal from the meal number two I showed you guys is we're having chicken in here and I know it's not that much different from meal number two but this just gives you an example of different meals you can have and consume on low carb days and still feel full still feel satiated but also hit your macros to a T and perfect. So let's go downstairs, let's cook on the grill, and we got a special guest in the house. Bro. Oh shit, what's good, man? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't seen this man in a little bit. He's been traveling the world, he's traveling the world, but leaving me behind. Been a minute, man. Came to see the dog, came to chill a little bit. We're gonna go downstairs, cook up the food on the grill. He's having a burger, and I'm probably gonna have just a simple chicken right here, I'll show it to you guys. Saw before, it's pre-seasoned it, so I'm just gonna put these two on the grill. One meal for now, one meal for tomorrow, and then we eat straight. Options for a good low carb meal, the bun, nice chicken, patty, pepper jack cheese, and then not my go to choice, but I don't judge. How's the burger? I can confirm that it is fire. So, the two main ingredients I use to make his burger I use the chili, lime, chicken burger patties from Trader Joe. The macros are six fat, three carb, and 20 protein, as well as another Trader Joe specialty whole wheat buns. Macros for these are two fat, 18 carbs, and five carbohydrates. Okay guys, so this kind of completes the video. This is, I would say, the last kind of 
low carb meal you can eat. Just a nice salad, the same thing as before, but this time instead of using ground beef or whatever, we're using chicken, a more leaner option, and allows you to like, if you have a lower fat intake or just don't wanna have beef, this is a really good option to go for. So today I actually prepared it on the grill. Eating basic plain chicken, especially on the grill, just makes it a whole lot better. And guys, that's pretty much it in this video. I'm wrapping it up right here. If you did enjoy the video, please give this video a thumbs up. I got family over, so I gotta actually focus on them right now. Catch you guys in the next freaking video. Comment down below. And as always, guys, subscribe to this channel. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.